So you've had quite an intense season, um, or the last season. Are you ready for a break now? Well, I mean, uh, I'm, uh, we're on the break right now. I, uh, we finished uh, in March, and I went and did a, uh, an English mo uh, movie, an English film called uh, Chalet Girl, which is like a romantic comedy kind of feel-good movie for Christmas time. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It was a good, it was a, a good change, and um, it, it was a great experience. But um, and and then yeah, I've been I've been relaxing for a little while, and um, been been in London, which has been great, and been seeing uh, seeing the people I don't get to see too much, and um, and then we go back to shoot the fourth season in July, in and we're doing a couple of days in Paris, which I'm uh, very excited about. I love Paris, so uh, be a good good time. You mentioned. Um Shallow Girls. It's working with um, Sophia Bush, isn't it? Yeah, with Sophia. Hill. Yeah, Sophia's How was great. it working with her? Was She's it? wonderful. I love her. She's very maternal. She <laughs> took care of me, kept me out of trouble. No, she's uh, she's wonderful. And Bill Nye was in it, who's um, uh, an absolute gem. What a what a guy. Um, so um, so yeah, it was a great time. Yeah. Um, going back to the last, well, the end of the, the finale of Gossip Girl. Yeah. Um, were you worried when you initially found out you were going to be? Shot. <laughs> no, I no. wasn't really. I don't want to sound arrogant, but no, I, I, I don't know. I kind of thought I'd, you know, would survive, you know. But um, but it was a great, it was a great, great uh, end to the season. You know, I got to sh got to sh not only that, we got to shoot at the uh, at the top of the Empire State Building, which was um, which was incredible. You know, I don't I don't know how many people can say they've done that. So uh, yeah. so that was. That was that was fantastic, and um, was really pleased with the way they, they brought everything together. I think it was probably the best finale we've had of um, of the three seasons. So um, so yeah, I'm I, I'm really really uh, looking forward to seeing where they pick it up and and, and what they do. So you, filming starts in July. Yeah, and um, the first episode's in Paris. Yeah. Is there anything you can reveal? I mean, I don't know. I mean, don't know. I really don't know what's go what's going on because we haven't had the scripts yet. I mean, maybe I'll have a new French love. Maybe I'll be uh, be out there with Blair. Who knows? We'll so, uh, we'll see. So we can assume you survive then. Yeah, we can. Yeah. I think it's safe to it's safe to assume that. Maybe I'll have a limp and a cane or <laughs> some. Uh, or maybe I'll be in a wheelchair. That would be sh frightening, wouldn't it? But uh, we'll see. Well, who knows? Um. You said you don't know anything much about the storylines mm. yet for the season. What would you like to see happen? Um, I don't know. I mean, we've I've, last season we had such a such a great journey. I mean, maybe something different from the whole uh, from the whole relationship with with Blair. You know, I have uh, have had a wonderful time working with Leighton, and and uh, you know, I've really enjoyed the work we've we've done together. But maybe um, delve into the whole corporate thing a bit more. Maybe uh, you know, maybe some more. Um, you know, maybe some, some scams or something like that. Some Ponzi scams or something. You've had a few uh, scams already. We've had some <laughs> scams already. But maybe, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe the maybe the corporate side. Maybe something a little bit more like more more down that line. Who knows? And the inevitable question: Would you like to see Chuck and Blair back together? Um, I mean, I mean, you got to ask. You know, are they meant to be together? Are they not? You know, are they bad for each other? Because it looks that way. But you know, um, they're uh, it's 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 fighting fire with fire, isn't it? I don't know. They, I have great fun working with Leighton, as I said. So it wouldn't. Um, I, I wouldn't mind it. I think you said. I remember you saying in one episode, um, "I'm not Chuck Bass if I'm not with you." Did you think I you're destined? It, didn't I? It's quite an ominous thing to say yeah. <laughs> in some ways. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, well, he's a funny old boy, but. Um, well, maybe that answers the question, or at least that's how he feels, you know. Yeah. So. Um, you've become, well, Chuck and Blair have become such a popular couple on the season. They're kind of the couple everyone's rooting for now. Right. Um, why do you think that is? What do you think the success of the couple is? Well, I mean, they're, they're both kind of, they're both interesting individually. Um, and when you put them together, they kind of, you know, they're, they're like one of those great partnerships, you know, the crime-fighting duo or something like that, or... You know, like Bonnie and Clyde a little bit maybe. But, um, so they, they, you know, they bounce off one another. They, um, I think Leighton and I have great chemistry on on screen. So, um, so you know that 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 helps. But um, but yeah, no, they're just um, they're great individually, and when put together, they're um, they're even better. Would you ever like to see a possibility of marriage? Will Chuck ever get married? Well, I mean, he was going to propose yeah. in the end of the third season. You know, that was his uh, his big step. But maybe it was a good thing because I mean, maybe they're a little bit too young to get married. Um, but uh, I wouldn't put it past him, you know. He's uh, 
his heart was pretty much set on her. You know, she she did a lot for him. You know, she uh, she became his his, his um, emotional pillar. You know, um, so uh, so yeah. Well, who, who knows? And going back to the very beginning of Gossip Girl, mm. you were kind of the bad boy. Yeah, you were kind of the the, the character people love yeah. to hate. The yeah. brat. Yeah. How would you say you've progressed? Well, the third I mean, in the beginning, you know, we saw her, he had very little consideration or respect for uh, for others and enjoyed playing games with people and, and manipulation. But then um, that kind of evolved where he evolved and we saw him, um, you know, confront his demons and uh, and uh, have to confront a, a lot of issues. Um, and then we saw him, you know, open up his heart again um, when we thought he didn't have one. And fall in love with um, with Blair and, and his relationship, but of course his other um, his other sides to his pers personality kind of um, led to some self destruction or destruction of the uh, of their bond of their relationship. So um, so we, we've seen him we've seen him progress. We've seen him grow. I think he's I think he's learned a lot, but he's still got some learning to do. I mean, you've won quite a lot of people over with the character now. Do you do you prefer that, or do you like being the the brat, the bad boy. I think it's um, I think it's a mixed thing, really. I mean, I you know, I I've, I personally have enjoyed the journey we've gone on with the character. Had a great time, you know, the different shades we've uh, we've got to play with. But um, I mean, I, I know some people like some people say to me, oh, no, I want I want Chuck to go back to when he was you know the bad guy when he was the brat. And I'm like, well, you know, it's 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 it's. It, it's it's a progression of somebody's life almost you know it's, it's people change people go through different things but um as i say who knows what's going to happen in the in the next season maybe we'll get some another another new turn yeah um so finally the the show's had quite a, has a very cult following doesn't it it's very kind of hardcore right. audience particularly on our digital spy forums anyway right right right, right, right. um what do you think the key to the success so. Um, I mean, you know, it's, if we break it down, it started with the books. Um, the books were, uh, were, were a bit of a hit. And then um, Josh and Stephanie, who came off the, uh, the IC, they brought everything, they brought their built-in fan base with it. And then, I mean, and then the kind of show took on its, you know, it, it, it became its own thing. And, um, you know, Manhattan's an attractive city. You know, the, 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 um, the, the, the storylines are attractive, I think, their entertainment value. So I mean, I think all of these things, you know, put in together, you know, just 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 added to it. But you can never predict success or how something's going to be received. You know, you, you can't do that. So um, so it's been uh, it's been a very very uh, interesting, crazy time, and I've loved every minute of it, and I'm still loving it, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to to it carrying on. And how long would you like to see it run for? I mean, is this going to be the final season? Do you think? Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, we've got this this season, and then, uh, and then I don't know. You know, we we'll just see what happens at the end of this one.